Hello, this is a demo of the new peer assessment plugin, which is almost complete. So to use it, the first thing we need to do is to create our groups of students within Moodle. So I'm actually going to auto create these groups and put them into a grouping. And I'm going to create another set of groups um, in a different grouping to demonstrate later on. So with my group set up, I'm going to go in and add peer assessment. So as with anything in Moodle, we give it a title and optionally give it a description. We have the allowed submissions from and due date where the late submissions are allowed. Maximum number of files uploaded. If you want students to actually submit something, then I think by default it will be one if you're not um, requiring a file and it's just to assess a face-to-face -face activity you can set that to zero. Um, another feature is whether students are asked to score themselves alongside their peers. The weighting of the peer assessment element to the final grade, whether there's going to be a penalty for um, students who fail to review their peers as asked, then the criteria that students are going to assess one another on and whether you want justification to be added. So if this is enabled, it just puts a comment section um, for each student to just add comments about their scores for their peers. Um, by default, I think that's disabled. If you enable it, it could be hidden from students, so you as a tutor would see students' comments, but they wouldn't see one another's. Um, visible Anonymous is students can see the feedback, but they can't see who wrote it. And Visible with Username, students could actually see who said what in that comments area. And then the criteria description and the scale or scoring type. So these can be added to Moodle, um, as many of these as we need, but as you can see, I'm just using a one to five scale. Then you would always put this into separate groups, I think, and I've, I'm actually testing using grouping. So I want the groups that I called colors as opposed to shapes. So if you have multiple groups running in a Moodle course for different purposes, you can add them to a grouping and um, make sure that the correct one is used. So with that set up, we'll save and display and we'll see on the next screen an overview of this peer assessment activity by group. And we'll come back to this once we've submitted something on behalf of students. So I'm now logged in as a student and as a student, when I go into the peer assessment, I'm asked to rate my peers on each of the criteria as you can see here it might have helped if i put more information in instead of it just being criteria one two three and as you can see it's actually organized by criteria so that it's the peers that you're rating appear alongside one another so it's kind of helpful to view it that way so that um, you can kind of think about how your peers performed on a particular criteria and see how you've scored them. This was set to request um, justification from the student so I can add comments in for each of my peers to give a bit more context around my scores. So I'll just put some information in there. One other point is that had this been set to require a file upload there would have been a, a file upload field at the top. And upon saving that, we can see that it was some information about when it was submitted and we could go back in and edit this as a student up to the point that um, the due date passes. So I'm now in as a teacher again. We can see the details of this group submission and the fact that three of the four students have now rated their peers. So we'll go into this group and start looking at the way grading works. 
So if we look under peer submissions and grades for each criteria, we can see how each student scored their peers. And because this student hasn't actually come in and rated their peers, then the scores on these lines are empty. We can then look at the justifications. And so for each student here, we can see the comments that they left for their peers. So this is the student who left the feedback and the students that that feedback was left for. So now we'll go into the tutor grading and this is the mark for the piece of work overall. And here we can see the peer assessment weighting that was brought in as the default. So I'll grade that piece of work, save it, and now we can see the calculated grades. Now if we want to, now if we want to, we can actually override the peer assessment weighting on a per group basis. So by default every group is going to use whatever value was set for the weighting when the peer assessment was set up but having spoken to academics there are times when it was would be useful to be able to adjust this on a per group basis so if I just set this weighting to zero we can now see that essentially every student is getting the grade that the teacher gave there's no peer weighting applied but for this student they have a 10% penalty incurred for not um, completing the peer review of their peers. This was another setting um, when we created this peer assessment. So if I put that back up and say, say that the peer assessment is going to apply a weighting of 60, you can see these scores have been adjusted and this student now is actually scoring more highly because in the peer assessment phase they were scored more highly than their peers. So you can adjust this if you need to and the other thing that you can do is to actually override the scores completely um, in these fields here. Now one thing that we are looking to add is a totals row so underneath calculated grade there will be a total underneath final weighted grade there will be a total and the idea is to have a total here which calculates as you type in as you go along so that if you do manually need to redistribute these grades for any reason um, you can see what the total was here and you'll be able to see your new newly added total here if you need to get them to match So now I'm just going to zero out those grade overrides. I'll just put this back to the original weighting. You can add textual feedback here. You can add um, file feedback here if you want to. And I'll just again save those changes and then go back into the peer assessment page. We can see this is now telling us that this has been graded. Now students can't see any of these grades and feedback until we do this, release grades for all groups. And so to illustrate this under this test peer assessment, there are no grades in the grade book currently. So I'm now going to just release um, the grades and feedback and this has been added so that all students get their feedback at the same time. We can see this message telling us that the grades were released. And now in the grade book, we can see that um, the grades available to these students, these are blank because we haven't actually gone through and graded all of the test um, groups that within this particular course. As a tutor, I can download each uh, CSV file for each individual group if I want to do that. So you can see in here the group grade, which was the original, which was essentially the grade 
put in by the tutor. So all the information should be coming out into this CSV file. What we also have, which isn't working yet, is the ability to export all the group grades. So a CSV file that contains all the information as opposed to it being one individual group. And just to clarify something I don't think I've explained well enough. This field here is completely optional. By default students are going to get this final weighted grade. That will be the grade that students get unless you need to fine tune or manually tweak these grades. In which case you can optionally use these fields and whatever you put in here will be the grade the student receives. But if you don't put anything in here students get this grade. So I hope that's given you an overview of how the plugin is working. It'd be really useful if we could get some feedback on this at this stage just to check that we haven't missed anything or that there aren't likely to be any problems with the way this is working. Okay, thank you. Bye.